everyone, my name is Katherine Ward and I'm an artist based in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my testimony and how I started creating art for the Lord and how I started my art as a ministry. I grew up in a family of believers. When I was younger, I would go to church, I did communion, I did Sunday school, all the things that a Catholic kid does. Um, but my mind and my heart wasn't really there. I wouldn't really say I had any real relationship with God because I wasn't really absorbing any of the material. I didn't really care about what was happening. And when I was younger, I struggled a lot. You know, in my teenage years, those are my hardest years. I struggled a lot with anxiety and depression. At the time, I had this YouTube channel about makeup and beauty, and some of you might know me from that. Um, and I ended up leaving the channel because it made me really unhappy. I got really, really hurt along the way. You know, I went through a lot of abandonment and a lot of pain and betrayal and um, I was taken advantage of a lot for the views and the money I had on my channel at the time. I started to find art and I started seeing YouTube videos about it that were popping up in my feed at the time. I started watching all these videos of people painting and drawing and I was incredibly inspired and I went to Michael's and I bought a sketchbook. My art <laughs> was really bad. I have never drawn like anything in my life. I was not an artsy kid. I mean, I think I was creative. I like to make videos and do makeup, but I didn't know how to paint or draw at all. Senior year of high school, I started taking a lot of art classes and I learned a lot really fast. I think I took three art classes that year and had the same teacher and he pushed me a lot. Um, but I was also still struggling mentally. So I had this weight of my mental illness and this pain I was carrying, but I also had this enjoyment that I found in art. And so I ended up going to this program at Otis College, which ended up being the college I attended. And it was called Summer of Art. So you basically go for a summer and take art classes. I ended up meeting this girl named Hannah, who was my dorm advisor. Started telling me about Jesus and I was like, what? Like, I was like, okay, like that's cool. She really likes Jesus. And at the time, I really just wanted a friend. I really just wanted someone I could genuinely connect with and have an authentic relationship with that wasn't, um, you know, someone who would just end up hurting me or betraying me. She invited me to go to church with her and her boyfriend, and I was just so excited that someone asked me to hang out with them. So I was like, okay, I went and she took me to her church, Hillsong, Los Angeles. And when I walked in for the first time, I was like shocked. I'd never seen anything like this. I had never seen a church that wasn't just like a Catholic church with like pews and a priest. Like I'd never seen a more modern day you know, non-denominational Christian church. I truly had it. The pastor was preaching that God had a plan for me, that Jesus loves me, that he can heal me, that he sees me and he cares about me. And I was astounded to hear these things. No one had ever, you know, in my past sit down and told me this before, you know, like it, it was new information. It was amazing and it gave me so much hope. At the end of that service, I raised my hand and gave my life to Jesus and my life forever changed. My heart really did change and a lot of the darkness that I felt, it was just lifted off and I found this hope. You know, before I had tried to put my hope in things that were fading like, you know, makeup and getting views on YouTube and things like that, but I now had this eternal hope, you know, this anchor for the soul that I knew Jesus would never leave me, never forsake me, and his ways are higher, and he had such a plan and a purpose for my life. You know, for a person who once struggled with the will to live, to be told that your life has purpose and meaning is life-changing. Uh, you know, I think a lot of testimonies can be like, I just came to Jesus and everything was perfect. Um, I still do struggle, you know, mentally, but it's different now. I don't have the same burden that I carried before. I don't have the same weight. I don't have the same um, struggle of if I want to live or not. 
Now I know that even though I still do struggle, I know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character and character hope. And I know that Jesus is my hope because he has a plan, he has a purpose and he loves me and he can change me from the inside out. He can show me, you know, my bad patterns. He can show me my sin by the Holy Spirit giving me that conviction. I knew what I needed to change in my life in order to become closer to God. And God is love and he is peace. And so through that, you will become healed. He tells me not to worry. He tells me not to fear because he is with me. And that changes everything, changes everything. So that is how I came to Jesus. After I became a Christian and I gave my life to Jesus, um, I had this deep conviction within my heart um, about my artwork because I felt very, very called to make art. And I, after I became a Christian, I knew that I was supposed to make art for God, for Jesus. The artwork before I became a Christian um, is really uh, concerning. <laughs> Um, and then if you look at it after I became a Christian, you can see the total shift. I mean, when I look at it, I can just see how unhappy I was and how happy I became. And I can see the shift of my perspective in life. I knew if I was going to spend my life making art, if I was going to spend my life doing this, I wanted it to be something meaningful and, and I wanted to give it back to God. Art is worship for me because to worship means to ascribe ultimate value. So when I paint and when I share my work and these messages, I want to ascribe the ultimate value to God, to give all the glory to Him, that this is the purpose for which I create and this is the message I want to share. And in in those moments I when I paint I can pray and I can talk to God and just lift up my worries to him after about two years that I gave my life to Christ I started receiving visions so when I would pray or when I would be worshiping like singing or reading the Bible or anything I would start to see I guess I call them visions or images in my mind's eye that were so distinct that I knew I had to paint them. When I received these visions, there was this piece in my heart that I just knew it was God showing me what to paint. So whenever I do receive a vision, I do make sure to paint it. So that also has affected my artwork, but not everything I paint is a vision. Um, some things are also just images that kind of form in my mind that I get when I read scripture or maybe um, I kind of get inspired by a sermon and kind of sketch up things on my own. So the ways that my artwork has affected people's lives, I have a lot of stories I, I could share, but one particular story that comes to mind that I always think about is I was doing this art show in the Chicagoland area and these three women they were related you know they came up to my booth and you know one of them just started crying like she just started crying when she saw my work she bought this one drawing of mine um, and her father had recently passed away and her mother had also passed away before that and so I remember her crying and she said like she felt like this drawing was her father and her mother reuniting in heaven and that God had his hand on their life and that they were with God and she was just crying and it was a, just a beautiful experience that we just got to talk about faith and our journeys. The artwork can lead to this conversation and it can lead to this connection and, and a time of prayer. I was sitting in my dorm room and I was praying over my future husband because um, my whole life I've like dreamed of meeting my future husband and having someone that I could just do life with and um, so I'm so thankful for my boyfriend now and, and we are on that path. I had a lot of anxiety in my heart because I just really wanted to meet him and I just really wanted to know my future husband and I was just so eager and um, I immediately when I was praying eyes were closed but this light came flooding behind my eyes. It was so powerful that when it came into my vision, I literally flew back, like because I was sitting, you know, like this and praying and, and I flew back <laughs> on my bed, like it knocked me over. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I did not see the face of God. I'm not claiming to have seen the face of God. I believe God in that moment was like, hey, relax. <laughs> um, and 
yeah so that's one thing i think of all the time because in that moment i felt so close to god and i felt his complete total peace over me what is an important piece of advice i would give to new artists making art for the lord it's pretty simple but just put God first. If your number one priority is, you know, getting views on Instagram or getting money or this and that, um, eventually those expectations are going to leave you feeling really empty. The best way to keep up with my artwork, if you're interested, is my Instagram at Catherine Ward Art and my website, CatherineWardArt.net. And I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and check out my collaboration with Not Of This World. I am so thankful that they reached out to me and I'm so excited about our collaboration. So thank you so much and God bless you all.